your first uh, show editor said ke why don't you host their flagship show first time doing it i bombed so badly <laughs> lekin jab wo mic aur wo light aur wo music and it's very iconic music right wo chala dimag band chabi bilkul uski band ho gayi jo galtiyan hoti hai na ya bhand jisko kehte hain ye live ka zevar hota hai this young girl she was a uh, gang rape uski video film hui thi of her rape and then the perpetrators uploaded it on social media uh, i had traveled very far to do it maine bahut mehnat ki thi us pe fir uske baad maine dekha ki mere social media account hack ho raha hai they called my office they threatened they threatened my office to take the story down most traumatic effect on me was covering the army public school I think just being there on the scene and experiencing you know you went into that stadium and you and you could feel everything that had happened there. the blood and the smell and the marks of smoke to hanjalaya wa the teachers wagaira and they said okay you can do it maine kisi ko ghar pe nahi bataya not my parents or my husband not my mother in law aur maine ja ke kar liya fir unhone tv pe jab dekha they come like, what did you do you know ek protest tha jahan i was surrounded achanak se jab aap ek ek ehtijaj ya rally mein hote na logon ki emotions bahut high hote hain um, i've lost job failed badly at my first live but i always picked myself up and i've kept on going जर्नी uh though i have a lot of questions okay. lekin i uh, i and our viewers would like to mm. go through um, aapki journey aapne kaise start kiya kahan se kaam shuru kiya aur okay. ab bahut lamba safar hai kyunki 20 saal ho gaye mujhe but 20 but, years yeah 20 years um i started as a print journalist um maine the news on sunday mein kaam kiya tha aur herald magazine mein kaam kiya tha mm. monthly magazine tha jo ab, ab it's not uh, band ho gaya hai kyunki uske liye koi audience nahi hai but that's where i started and the reason i started was because i wanted to tell people stories main college mein thi aur us waqt tha ki college mein aapke paas kai raste hote hain ab kya karna hai maine maine school mein maine sciences li thi i was not a sciences person maine fir college mein jaake maths economics my father wanted me to do my mba but i knew i wasn't an mba person lekin main karna kya chahti thi mujhe kitabon ka shauk tha mujhe likhne ka likhne ka shauk tha mujhe art ka shauk tha so i asked this teacher of mine you know uh, उटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटलीउटली
बट रियली ब्लाइंड मैंने अपना बिकॉज आई ऑबियसली हेड स्टार्टेड राइटिंग तो अपनी कुछ राइटिंग सैम्पल्स थी और मैंने अप्लाई कर दिया नो रेफरेंस किन टॉपिक्स पे आप लिखती थी उस वक्त उस जमाने में मैंने हर चीज़ पे लिखा था माय इंटरेस्ट वर रियली मोर ऑन द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स एंड कल्चर टू बी ऑनेस्ट अच्छा ओके मगर मैंने हर चीज़ की है मैंने आई आई मीन आफ्टर यू परसूड योर पैशन या एग्जैक्टली सो बैचलर्स के बाद और उसके बाद मास्टर्स भी कर चुकी थी बाय द टाइम आई स्टार्टेड वर्किंग एंड वॉज अ मास्टर्स इन मैथ कम्युनिकेशन एंड यूर गुड एट इंग्लिश पर जब आपने जर्नलिज्म स्टार्ट किया तो यू हैड टू यू नो Learn better Urdu, right? No, 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 no. इस वक्त तक उर्दू सीन पे भी नहीं थी मैं बहुत अंग्रेजी मीडियम थी हाँ, और हाँ. Uh, मुझे याद है कि हाँ अभी तक याद है इलेक्शन का टाइम था और बहुत सारा उर्दू में मवाद भी था जो हमें पढ़ना या पढ़ना पड़ा था एंड हमारे एडिटर हमारा बहुत मजा मजाक पड़ा था इतने बर्गर बच्चे हैं कोई ये भी पता नहीं है इसका क्या है इसका क्या है बट यू नो आई मूव सिटीज आई was basically from Lahore I moved to Karachi and then I moved to Islamabad and I had a very young child so I sort of decided to take a break or us uh, waqt I think the my thought process was ke print and I'm talking about now 2007 so you know ta- waqt guzar gaya hai thodi bahut sahafat kar li seekh li thodi bahut thodi bahut but at that time I realized ke the future is actually not print print is going to die hmm. and i need to be i need to go into broadcasting mm-hmm. i need uh, to learn multimedia mm-hmm. so i did a few years at dawn tv jo english mein tha maybe be angrezi medium okay so i'm still in very angrezi medium at this point and uh, that was a, that was really fantastic opportunity kyunki us waqt ek to samad mein hona at a time jab parvez musharraf ke khilaf protests ho rahe the lal masjid an operation chal raha tha reporting key opportunities stories uh, lots of political activity you know I, i have a lot of questions on that as well but before that aapka usse pehle radio show hua right no i did radio after this after this yeah this so was it's 2010 onwards okay and uh, dawn pe aap um, i did a few shows but i actually was primarily on the desk kyunki meri angrezi achhi thi सो वैसे जिसकी अंग्रेजी अच्छी होती है वो फंस जाते हैं कि किसी और लोगों की अंग्रेजी आप ठीक करो तो मुझे रिपोर्टिंग का बहुत शौक था एंड आई रिमेम्बर द जब लाल मस्जिद का ऑपरेशन हुआ था इट वॉज इन माई प्राइमरी ड्यूटी बट मैंने कहा मैंने जाकर ये कवरेज करनी है मैंने ये स्टोरी करनी है एंड एंड वीर आर अ वेरी सपोर्टिव आई रिमेम्बर ब्यूरो चीफ एंड एडिटर एट दैट टाइम बिकॉज दे अलाउड मी टू टेक माई डॉटर टू वर्क इज वेल एंड यू नो उसके लिए स्पेशल जगह रखी हुई थी एंड दे सर ओके यू कैन डू इट मैंने किसी को घर पर नहीं बताया not my parents or my husband not my mother in law uh or when i ja ke kali aur phirone tv pe jab dekha it's like amber what did you do you know acha before that uh, journalism mein enter hoke to ye 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 wala point hai jab amma abba ko kuch nahi bataya isse pehle to bahut kuch hua hoga na jab amma abba ko nahi bataya ha maybe amma mujhe kehti thi ke acha because journalism mein timings nahi hoti journalism mein you haan, can't it's haan, not a 9 to 5 job it's not even a 10 to 7 job हाँ इट कुड समथिंग कुड हैपन एनी टाइम सो जब वो हेरल की अपॉर्चुनिटी थी और उससे पहले दी न्यूज़ की अपॉर्चुनिटी वो तो नाइन टू फाइव होती होगी ना नहीं हेरल मैगजीन एक महीने में हमने एक मैगजीन तैयार करना होता था जिसमें रिपोर्टिंग भी मैं करती थी आई वॉज ऑल्सो एडिटर ऑफ द बैक पेजेस ओके सो वो भी हमें एडिटिंग सब एडिटिंग करनी होती थी प्रूफ रीडिंग करनी होती थी वो सारा काम महीने के दो हफ्तों में होता था जिसमें हम रातें गुजारते थे एट दी ऑफिस एंड माई मदर डे नॉट लाइक इट अच्छा टीचर बन जाती है लेकिन उन्होंने रोका नहीं 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 माय फादर वाज वेरी वेरी इनकरेजिंग आई ऑलमोस्ट क्विट बिकॉज तनख्वाही होती शुरू में जो आप शुरू करते हैं सहाफत में क्या पहली तनख्वाह क्या थी मेरी सबसे पहली तनख्वाह आई थिंक जो मैंने न्यूज़ में काम करी थी आई वुड से इट वाज अबाउट 7 8000 फिर जब मैंने हेरल्ड ज्वाइन किया 12000 हो गई बाय द टाइम आई लेफ्ट इट 24000 हो गई थी बट फॉर वन गुड ईयर for a few years i was very little and i was very difficult um and i wanted to quit to socha nahi ha again ha ha maine i i applied to an mnc uh in the comms department <laughs> and i got the job and i spoke to my father and he said no i think this is a better fit for you i think you should stay wow. but i took his advice wow. and wow. i think wow. uh, yeah and parents supported for late hours and all that i mean they started taking it you know they accepted it ye, ye khush nahi thi ammi khush nahi thi to nahi sunegi ha exactly exactly mm-hmm. basically so but again ye to challenge kar liya overcome uske baad aa gayi stories jo cover and i would say i would just want to say credit to my husband as well who's been always been very supportive great great yeah great. and then covering stories i mean this is another challenge kya waisi jagahon pe ja rahe hain jo risky hain yes aur bahut risky to danger to your life and yes. your person and, uh, and i was yeah. reading somewhere ke wo aps attack ke time pe bhi you also covered the story yes like, yes i did to yeah. yeah. so, uh, i mean i think because the warrant error ke time pe mai um i was a reporter to 
obviously that was the biggest one um, but you know we've been covering lots of bomb blasts and, and uh, terror attacks and uh, colleagues protests um, we're having to wear those flak jackets wo ek necessity hoti thi um, people losing um, colleagues uh, it, it was a scary time it was a scary which time. was the most scary time I mean, I think the, this, the most tragic, the one that had the most traumatic effect on me was covering the army public school um, as I think the entire country. But I think just being there on the scene and experiencing, you know, you went into that stadium and you and you could feel everything that had happened there. It was almost as if uh, the blood and the smell and the marks of smoke to Hanjalaya about the teachers, it was almost as if uh they were telling the story of what happened you 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 didn't need words to understand what happened mm-hmm. uh that was the saddest uh the scariest was when life was in danger any time i mean i think um my whether my life was in danger or not i've been fortunate in the sense that because i work for an organization i was working for the bbc at the time uh mm-hmm. that was that really supported journalists in the sense ke अगर आपको कोई थ्रेट होता था जो मुझे मिले हैं दे वुड इंश्योर के योर सेफ्टी केम फर्स्ट आई थिंक फॉर मी दिस केरियस वॉज आई डिड अ स्टोरी ऑन माइनॉरिटीज पर्टिकुलर स्टोरी एंड आई दे कॉल्ड माई ऑफिस दे थ्रेटन दे आस्क दे थ्रेट माई ऑफिस टू टेक द स्टोरी डाउन दे वर इट वॉज अबाउट माइनॉरिटी कम्यूनिटी एंड एंड हाउ दिस मेजोरिटी रिलीजियस ग्रुप वॉज अटैकिंग and all of that so that was kind of scary as well because i was some of the instructions i got on that story was okay please be careful about you know uh, where you go in case you're followed because it already they knew where where i work because it called my office um so unka number tha location bhi zahir hai pata hi hoga um and then mujhe phir zahir hai um social media ke through bhi mujhe kafi you know messages aana shuru ho gaye the I felt like that was pretty scary. Um but how did that effect affect on your mental health and how did you overcome that? Um I I think how did it affect? I felt like I I was frustrated because I really wanted that story to be told and humne I did that story in three versions which was radio, television and print. Or they you actually You didn't drop the story. So the print the radio story ran just ki wajah se they got upset. Pehle radio story mar subah chali thi. और फिर उसके बाद प्रिंटर ऑनलाइन लगनी थी पोस्ट होनी थी एंड देन उसके बाद टेलीविजन पे चली रोक दी गई फिर वो रोक दी गई वी रन इट लेटर बट यू नो सो आई वाज आई वाज मोर अपसेट अबाउट दैट डू यू रन इट लेटर वी डिड फिर नहीं आए थे नहीं फिर वो फिर उसके बाद भूल गए थे ना यू नो बट दैट्स अ पॉइंट वेयर आई थिंक इफ यू फील लाइक योर स्टोरी इज नॉट गेटिंग टोल्ड यू शुड फाइंड अ वे टू टेल इट um and i'm glad ke again because i was part of an organization that takes a stand for its journalists yeah. so uh, that story got told aur mujhe kab dar laga bahut baar hota hai i mean i think um, covering any kind of i'll be honest here um i've covered uh, rallies by lots of religious extremist parties as well and you're always a little afraid ke somebody will not like the fact that you work for a particular organization ya aap khatoon hain um आप सारे ज़ाहिर एहतियात करते हो हाउ यू ड्रेस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट आप एक कॉन्टैक्ट रखते हो यू कीप वन ऑफ योर कैमरा मैन विद यू बट यू नो दर इज ऑलवेज समबडी हू कू गेट ट्रिगर्ड आई मीन आई रिमेंबर एक प्रोटेस्ट था जहाँ आई वॉज सराउंडेड अचानक से बिकॉज वो उनका सारा जज जब आप एक एहतजाज या रैली में होते ना लोगों के इमोशंस बहुत हाई होते हैं जज्बात होते हैं ना तो मैं सराउंड हो गई थी एंड उस वक्त तक मैंने फिर बिकॉज थोड़ा सा तजर्बा भी हो गया था मैंने इशारा किया था कहते हैं हमें निकल जाना चाहिए तो उस वक्त हम वक्त पे निकल गए बिफोर इट बिकेम लाइक द क्राउड लाइक टारगेटिंग यू और जनरली वो जनरली गुस्से भी गुस्से में भी आ रहे थे बिकॉज मैं सवाल कर रही थी सो इट वॉज मिक्सड यू सी दैट्स अ थिंग वेर वेर यू रियलाइज कि जब आप क्राउड में होते हो एनी थिंग ट्रिगर इट राइट इट कुड बी मी इट कुड बी द स्टोरी इट कुड बी वॉट दर सींग राइट what they're protesting about so you have to sort of be but really alert but you didn't alert. stop uh, yourself asking such questions no obviously not obviously not i mean you do um, i think the another time that i got really scared was a uh, i i was an, again covering a very sensitive story uh, and uh, i was stopped from doing it multiple times uh, i had traveled very far to do it maine bahut mehnat ki thi us pe aur fir uske baad maine dekha ki mere social media account hack ho raha hai 
like my Facebook. Oh shit! Yeah, and that's scary. You have to tell the which was the top. What was the topic of the story? I mean, story? these are okay. So Pakistan, me, jo um, one of the more sensitive topics is obviously uh, covering uh, minorities and uh, religious divides. And uh, up to a certain point, I think that's where I I had the most trouble in many ways. Somebody would, or the other would always want to stop the story. Do you think it still exists? Yes. Yes, it does. In fact, I think that's why people, fewer people, do so those kinds of stuff. So, after that, after that, you never thought of quitting journalism. No. You became habitual of the threats. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Um, yeah. There's always okay. new threats, and I think, mm. I guess, there's so many colleagues of mine who oh, face yeah, worse threats. There are a lot of good people around you, maybe. You know? Yeah, no. Also, because I, I've seen so many colleagues of mine, jin pe zada bure threats hoye. Like you know, uh, terrorist organizations have threatened him. My producer was. उसका उसका घर के अंदर लोग घुस के उसको मार रहा था अ फ्रेंड और अदर एक्स कॉलीग ऑफ माइन वॉज डिसपेयर आई नो समी वॉज किल्ड सो इन अ सेंस आई फील फॉर्चुनेट दैट उस हद तक मेरे साथ नहीं हुआ बट एंड आई थिंक इट्स वेन यू रियलाइज दैट इफ यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू इट दैन हु इज एन दैट्स वाई यू कंटिन्यू टू कैरी ऑन एंड डिसाइड ऑनेस्टली जर्नलिज्म में जो सहाफत जो है ना वो तो आपकी रगों में घुस जाती है इट्स एन एडिक्शन It's an addiction, and you follow your passion. But does uh, like they pay you well? Journalism. What 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 is this about? Like earnings in journalism. You know, वो आपने पहली job का मुझे बताया, but again, दो तीन साल के बाद या चार साल के बाद, okay, चार साल के बाद भी क्या उसमें like वो है scope है, because या तो आप छोड़ देते हैं कि dangers बहुत ज़्यादा हैं, लेकिन आप continue कर रहे हैं because of of your passion. But again, एक drive होती है ना, money is the drive. Like you can't deny. Not in journalism. Not in journalism. I mean, there are journalists who who don't do journalism because of journalism. They do it for the money. Okay, that's a separate category. Yeah. Okay. So, in journalism, the categories me then it depends. For example, if if you are pursuing politics, then there's a lot of money. <laughs> Clearly, yes. There's okay, connections. Okay. There's a business. There's yeah. consultancies. There's all kinds. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 So, I mean, I get accused of being a lifaf all the time. I, I, I don't even own anything. I don't have a house. I don't own a car. I, I don't know. Didn't oh, but then he got lifaf. Where did I get that from? You didn't accept those lifafs, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you would have uh, a yeah. lot of cars then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'll go back to the uh, journey. जहाँ पे आप बात कर रही थी initially. मुझे वो जानना है your your first uh, show because जब आप start करते हैं तो you are your skills are not polished. You know, uh, <clears throat> I interviewed Iman Khan uh, last week, and she said you are bad at uh, your uh, like whatever you were pursuing. Chai wapka passion hi kyun na? Shuru mein you are bad at that. Yeah, that's true. She's very right. It doesn't mean you should give up. No. So you were bad at your um, art. Yes, yes. I mean, I think. Look, uh, I, I was thinking that I would only write all my life. But I made that difficult. It's a risk. and you take that risk like i'm going to go into broadcast journalism uske liye aapko apni zuban par zahir hai control bhi hona chahiye bolna bolna aana chahiye present apne aap ko kaise karte ho aana chahiye nahi aata tha matlab log batate the lekin nahi aata tha and sometimes it's just raw nerves so my uh, i did radio for a little while mai fm radio bhi karti thi news bulletins i would write them and then i also did a few radio shows and this is for bbc urdu or bbc urdu is almost I think एक मुकदस मेरे ख्याल में रेडियो सहाफ़ियों के लिए एक मुकदस जगह थी एक ज़माने तक क्योंकि जब खबरें मिलती थी वो रेडियो से मिलती थी और अक्सर बी बी सी उर्दू से मिलती थी क्योंकि पाकिस्तान में बहुत सेंसरशिप थी आपको रेडियो पाकिस्तान से रियासती जाविए से मिलती थी खबरें लेकिन आपको खबर खबर चाहिए थी तो बी बी सी उर्दू लोग सुनते थे ख़ास तौर पर दूर दराज इलाकों में सो मैंने रेडियो शुरू किया सीखा एंड आई थॉट आई वॉज रेडी सो माई एडिटर सेट के वाई डोंट यू होस्ट their flagship show jo matlab bahut razabdi um shafi naqi jamai there are so many uh, you know mahbara saftar so many people who with like bade bade naam they don't have a show host kiya that's called serbin ab band ho gaya big opportunity yeah it was like i had to take it again it was that risk thing where let me take that risk even though i was really scared and my first time doing it i bombed so badly matlab kyunki ek to aapko i was also very conscious ki meri urdu itni achhi nahi hai acha pura urdu bhi karna tha zahir hai kyunki bbc urdu tha 
اردو میں کرنا تھا نا انگریزی میں نہیں 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 آپ کو وہاں تو آپ کو بتاتے تھے کہ اگر آپ نے اقوام متحدہ نہیں کیا تو آپ نے ایک آپ یہ جرم ہے سو ہر لفظ اس کا تلف کا بچہ تھی میں میں لمس کا بچہ بھی نہیں تھی نا میں تو کریٹ کالج کی بچہ تھی انگریزی میڈیم ویری انگریزی میڈیم سو بٹ آئی لرن اینڈ آئی تھوڑا واز بیٹر ایٹ اٹ تو وہ میں نے کہا ٹھیک ہے کر لیں ریڈیو میں آپ آپ ظاہر ہے ایک گھنٹے کا آپ نے ریڈیو شو کرنا تھا آپ کو بات کرنی ہوتی ہے بہت ساری آپ نے زبان پہ آپ کا بو ہونا چاہیے آپ کو الفاظ آنے چاہیے تلفظ آنا چاہیے انگیجمنٹس کی ہاں اسکرپٹ کی پریکٹس کی اسکرپٹ اپنا بنایا اسٹرکچر سب کچھ پتا تھا سب کچھ کیا جو کرنا چاہیے اپنے آپ کو ایک ایک ون گڈ تھنگ از آبویسلی ٹو لسن ٹو یور سیلف ریکارڈ اینڈ لسن ٹو یور سیلف سب کچھ کیا میں نے آنیسٹلی ماں ہم لیکن جب وہ مائک اور وہ لائٹ اور وہ میوزک اینڈ اٹس ویری آئیکانک میوزک رائٹ اٹس ویری فیمس وہ چلا دماغ بند چابی بالکل اس کی بند ہو گئی اینڈ آئی بلینڈ اچھا پہلا شو چھوٹتے ہی لائف کرنا ہاں مطلب پانچ منٹ اور دس منٹ کے بلیٹن بہت آسان ہوتے ہیں مطلب پورا گھنٹے کا شو کرنا کوئی آسان کام نہیں ہے میرا دماغ پند سائلنس یو نیور آئی مین امیجن آئی واز لائف امیجن ایف یو واچنگ اے ٹی وی شو اینڈ دا ہوسٹ از جسٹنگ یو تھنک یو سوئچ اور یہ کون سی ایڈیٹ آ گئی ہے and i i bombed so badly i i mean i i was in london and i still remember after it was over sabki nazron se khaas taur pe mere editor who put a lot of faith in me sabki nazron se chura ke main gayi aur main bahar dhaade dha ke maar ke roi roi i cried so much but the next day i did it again i went back in یہ تو آپ شو کے بعد بتا رہی رہی وہ شروع کے پانچ منٹ میں کیا ہوا جب اٹک گئے تھے تو بس اٹک گئے پھر با 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 اچھا شروع کر دیا کسی نے شاید مے بی سم بڑی اس وقت تو دماغ چل ہی نہیں رہا تھا نا جب اب میں سوچتی ہوں مجھے یاد بھی نہیں آتا کہ ہاؤ وی مینیج اٹ آئی ڈونٹ ایون نو کہ وہ گھنٹہ کیسے گزرا کہاوت ہوتی تھی بی بی سی اردو میں کہ جو غلطیاں ہوتی ہیں نا یا بھنڈ جس کو کہتے ہیں کیجول سلینگ میں یہ لائف کا زیور ہوتا ہے اینڈ ایکچولی وٹ اٹ ٹیکس وٹ اٹ ڈز اٹ ٹیکس اے وے دیٹ فیئر واٹس آر بگیسٹ فیئر آر بگیسٹ فیئر از دیٹ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو لک لائک ایڈیٹس اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو بام اینڈ وی گوئنگ ٹو ڈو ریلی بیڈلی ڈن اٹ پھر تو کچھ بچا ہی نہیں نا یو ہیو نو نتھنگ لیفٹ ٹو لوز بٹ یو کڈ ہیو دیٹ فیئر کہ یار یہ پھر سے بام کر سکتی ہوں Well, I was like, it can't get worse than this, is what I thought. <laughs> so I went in the next day and I did a good show. Okay. You did it and you did well. I did okay. I mean, I think I improved with time. Huh. But I honestly, like I said, it couldn't go, get any lower than that. So obviously, it was a decent job. So throw some tips. Ke how did you improve your craft? Like right. storytelling. Pe, obviously, you worked on communication. Pe kaam kiya. I think appearance will be calm kya hoga, the way you deliver those messages or the content but uh, kuch specific tips aap ke zain mein hain ki ya mene apne craft ye wo wali hain jo mene aapko muft mein di thi ya off camera because you know that's just for you <laughs> I can't give it to everybody else to fir aap CEJ jayen aur haa bilkul aap CEJ jayen CEJ aayen aur if you want me to train you in a presentation ye teen tips hain trailer to dikha dein chalo dikhane ke liye trailer to dikha dein theek hai all right um practice watch yourself listen to yourself and practice watch people that you uh, think uh, do well don't copy them you have to make it your own shuru mein sab log the people who don't do well is because wo kisi aur ko ki nakal kar rahe hote hain so watch how they deliver how they tell a story take you know nakal ke liye bhi to aqal ki zarurat hoti hai exactly copy nahi karna hota na but uske baad make it your own practice اسی لیے جب اسکرپٹ ہوتا ہے ریڈیو میں تو اسکرپٹنگ نہیں ہوتی تھی ہمیشہ اپنے الفاظ میں لکھو ٹیلی ویژن میں آپ خود لکھو یا صرف نوٹس لو اور اسپانٹینیسلی بولو رائٹ بٹ اینی وے دیٹس اے دیٹس اے لیٹر اسٹیج آئی تھنک انیشلی یو شوڈ بی اشیم ٹو دا فیکٹ دیٹ یو مے نیڈ اے ٹیلی پرامٹر دیٹس اوکے آل دا بگ براڈ کاسٹرز 
the best broadcasters in the world use teleprompters because you have time limitation and you have to say it and you have to get all the information you need storytelling is also practice right and I think what's been really fun through my journey from print to multimedia journalism is that uh, I've just learned new ways. I learned new ways to tell a story. So initially, I was writing, and they were very, very slow, 15, 15, 16 words. Then after that, I had to write a script. The radio script is slightly different. The digital script is different because there's a lot of text, hmm. so you don't have to write it. You know, so yeah. it just uh, the the basic idea I always think is how do you tell a story? You think of it in terms of three phases, which is uh, your intro. हाँ, then the conflict and then the resolution. हाँ, and who are the characters? ये characters इस इन तीन phases में कहाँ fit आ रहे? That's a that's a story. So practice, write, tell a story. Remember what stories are made up of. The elements of a story. Oh, maybe that depends on like which category you belong to. तो उसके हिसाब से it can vary. It fits into everything. I'll tell you. अगर आप ये ये वाला framework इस्तेमाल करें ना ये ये elements इस्तेमाल करें. हाँ, apply that to everything you see. That's a story. So, what were the three main challenges you remember from your journey? Okay, uh, one was balancing home life and work life. I didn't always succeed, but I tried my best. There are ups and downs, na? So many ups and downs. Um, <laughs> I think it's also it's really hard when you have young kids, especially, because they do need a lot of attention and time, and you have to proactively. And especially when there's a job that is that doesn't follow formulas or timings, so you have to find strategies to ensure that they get quality time, and that I always used to do. At night, when they used to be at the bedtime, I would sit and tell them stories. You know, if it's been a long day and I haven't seen them a lot, uh, even though I've been in touch with them, um, I would ensure that at least we had that quality time over bedtime. So every day, every day, you can't, you can't, you can't just. It's not like about making children eat or putting them to sleep. It's about the relationship that you develop yeah. with them. Yeah. It's, it's you know conversations. Kela, it's a relationship that you yeah. develop with them. Upbringing is not just you know kela dena or sala dena. Exactly, that's why you think that this is motherhood, yeah. but it's not. I mean, it's about obviously it's not, it isn't even about disciplining, but how to show them being a role model for them, um, helping them navigate. Difficult, you know, areas in their life, whether it's studies or friends or school or you know, um, heartbreaks and things like that. So, yeah, that 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 is a challenge. Okay. Um, has been a challenge. The other challenge is because journalism is not an easy job. So there there are obviously threats, but it's also because there's a lot of uh, financial constraints in some ways. It's an unstable job. It yes, ani hoga ki agar ap. ضروری نہیں ہے کہ اگر آپ نے مثال کے طور پر اف یو ہیو یو گاٹ نے ٹی وی شو دیٹ اٹس ناٹ گوئنگ ٹو اینڈ لائک دیٹ ناٹ اے پرمنٹ جاب رائٹ آلسو وین ہم جب دوسری فیلڈس میں ہوتے ہیں اور ہم جاب کرتے ہیں تو وی ایکسپیکٹ سرٹن ریز اینڈ انکرمنٹ اور سال بہ سال وہ بڑھتا جاتا ہے بٹ جرنلزم آئی تھنک ناٹ نیسیسری ڈونٹ ایون ایکسپیکٹ دیٹ یو ڈونٹ ایون ایکسپیکٹ دیٹ اینڈ آل بی آنسٹ آئی تھنک آئی فور گوٹن وٹ اٹس لائک Uh, when I was a journalist, we were doing Eid, we were doing night shifts, we were doing double-double shifts. I still remember sometimes I was shifting at night and there would be a story and because I wanted to do that story, I would stay on the extra hours. I had to reach the night shift, I think, what was it? I'm forgetting, it may have been 9-10 o'clock at night or maybe slightly later and then your 6 o'clock in the morning at 7 o'clock. And then, if you have to sit for 2 hours to do another story, then you're killing yourself. So, the difficulty of journalism, the challenge is also, you can also burn out from the stress, from the threats, from the travel, from the deadlines, from the competition, because it's competitive. So, burnout is a challenge, which I faced as well. I have had burnout. Is it easier at CEJ now? <laughs> it's a regular job. I go there in the morning. There are days when you have to stay late or there's extra work. But it's not so never you, beyond you a certain... Holidays, holidays, I Saturday, get Sunday. Eid holidays. I get Eid holidays. I get August. I don't have to record anything. I don't have to do extra work just so I can take that day off that I deserve. Uh, so, it's great. I have... And I have you I, can take leaves. Like there's half days. Exactly half days. <laughs> there's earned leave. Mind blown again. We can do this too in our life. What are other challenges? Mm. I think also evolving. So journalism as a field has changed. Mm. 
I started as a print journalist. Now we're in the it, now we're in it's digital no longer era. digital, right? Yeah. Even digital, maybe it's evolving. It's TikTok. It's mm -hmm. becoming smaller and smaller, right? So I think the challenge for most journalists is that evolution, um, and and uh, that's something you have to keep an eye on. You have to constantly evolve and learn. Actually, mm -hmm. learn. I, I would think say in any field, this is course. the case. Yeah. Because जब इतने सारे लोग और बहुत सारे अखबारों में बुटे बुटे बाबे हैं जो सिर्फ अखबार छापते रहते थे लिखते रहते थे वो नहीं कर पाते उनके लिए मुश्किल होती है आई गेट इट कंपटीशन भी तो बढ़ गया ना कंपटीशन बढ़ गया लेकिन वो फिर कंपटीशन को अंदर आने भी नहीं देते दैट्स व्हाई यंग पीपल फील इट फ्रस्ट्रेटेड सो एक्सेस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एक्सेस टू इंफॉर्मेशन इज नाउ सो इजी के अब वो वाला थोड़ी के चैनल पे डिपेंडेंट है लॉट ऑफ टाइम लोगों के घर में तो टीवी भी नहीं होता था जस्ट दे डोंट रिलाई एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली दे जस्ट नीड सोशल मीडिया या सो ओके So another question is, which were the stories or uh, what? Which were the people who like literally moved you? Which were the stories which moved you? You know, yeah. uh, close to your heart, or you know. You know, I would like to say because I've interviewed politicians and important people. I think the the easy answer would be, oh, many is going interview kya tha or ye tha or wo tha. But actually, it's it's the people who whose stories I got to tell, jin ki pas or or kisi ki or koi zariya nahi tha. वो वो मुझे सबसे ज़्यादा मूविंग स्टोरीज लगी लाइक फॉर इंस्टेंस आई मीन आई आई स्टिल रिमेंबर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट डिफिकल्ट स्टोरीज अगेन अ डिफिकल्ट स्टोरी वाज दिस यंग गर्ल शी वाज गैंग रेप्ड स्कूल टीचर एंड उसकी वीडियो फिल्म हुई थी ऑफ हर रेप एंड देन द परपेट्रेटर्स अपलोडेड इट ऑन सोशल मीडिया दैट वॉज दैट वॉज अ डिफिकल्ट वन बिकॉज You know, I, I the way I saw it was that essentially the rape happened twice, first oh. time physically, the second time digitally. Oh. Um, that was a difficult story, and it wasn't an easy story to do because Uska um, case already. I mean, jo uh, just jo rapists say they were already arrested by the police when I got to her. Okay. So obviously, there's a lot of legal concerns that you have to think about. Was she willing to get interviewed? So ye bhi tha, you know, get is she willing to get interviewed or not? So we went through her father. Huh. and uh people who knew i mean i, I don't want to give away too much because again wo ek ek privacy concern bhi hoti but we actually um there was a producer in my office who had uh, who knew uh, people in that area so usne thodi si apni jaan pehchan lagayi thi we spoke to them and they were willing to do it and they puri uski privacy fully ensure ki thi um and in fact i remember jab wo story chapi thi it was i remember hamid meer took it on his show um uske baad a lot there was actually you were the first one to cover that story yes okay and a lot of journalists came to me saying acha number de de it's like i can't do that i can't give you her number or her contacts i mean that would be a violation of my ethical code um then there was legislation passed because you see uh, there was you know and, and that was a problem the story really was ke us waqt us zamane mein agar aapki is kisam ki videos upload hoti hain to uske liye ek separate charge nahi hota You know, there's multiple charges. पे लोगों को तो सेपरेट चार्ज नहीं था. So legislation हुई. So okay. you know, I feel like that to me, that story was uh, both moving. I'm glad I made a bit of a difference, but you know. Um, did she get justice? She did get justice in the end. She did get justice. Too. So did did your story play play a part? It did, and I think that to me is like a which that made. That was a good story. Where did you sense. hear about her, by the way? If it wasn't covered earlier, it wasn't covered because, um, the, the, like I said, the producer had contacts. He had heard about it through his uh, circle of acquaintances, mm. and he said, "Okay, let's do the story." So then we found a way to get to her through his contacts. He went with me as well. You know, he's. I think I should give him uh, Imran Tahir. I should give him equal credit for the story. But you know, when you hear these disturbing stories. that really shakes you um there was another story that i did and that story became more famous because of another person but it was this girl who again in punjab who um wanted to marry somebody of her own choice and uh, her father and her uncle they kidnapped her they took her to the river they knocked Shit. her out they tied her up in a sack and they threw her into the river and she survived acha okay so she survived usko they just knocked her out they hadn't killed yeah. her or no, they shot at her yes and now remember yeah so they shot at her or uh, it grazed her the khoon nikla tha lekin it wasn't fatal and that's when they put her in the sack um she uh, was unconscious for a while but wo nikal aayi 
پھر ایک ساتھ قریب میں ایک پیٹرول پمپ تھا اور جا کر وہاں سے اس نے کال کیا ہر شی ہیڈ آلریڈی میرڈ مین آف چوائس اس کو کال کر کے شی گاٹ سیوڈ سو دیٹ اسٹوری بیکیم فیمس بیکاز آف شرمین عبید چنوئے بیکاز شی ڈیڈ اے ڈاکیومنٹری آن اے کال گرل بائی دا ریور اسٹوری دیٹ آئی ڈیڈ فرسٹ فار دا بی بی سی بٹ یو نو شرمین عبید چنوئے ڈیڈ اے فینٹاسٹک جاب ود اے ڈاکیومنٹری لیٹر اینڈ شی وانٹ آسکر فار اٹ اس ویل ہاؤ ڈی گیٹ ٹو اینڈ دیٹ اسٹوری آئی فاؤنڈ ان اے ویری اسمال پارٹ آف دا نیوز پیپر اخبار میں خبر لگی ہوئی تھی چھوٹی یہ میں پوچھنا چاہ رہی تھی کہ ہاؤ ڈو گیٹ ٹو ہیئر اباؤٹ اسٹوریز اب فار ایگزامپل آپ کو اخبار میں کوئی اسپیسیفک نیوز ملی اینڈ یو تھاٹ کہ مجھے اس کو اپروچ کر کے اینڈ یو ہیو از نیو سینس دس از اے اسٹوری اینڈ دس ون آئی اپروچ مائی سیلف تو میں نے آئی وینٹ تھرو دا پولیس آئی وینٹ تھرو الاٹ آف یو نو ادر سورسز وی فائنڈلی گاٹ ٹو اگین یہاں ان دس کیس آئی ریمبر میں وہاں گئی تھی ٹو انٹرویو ہر اس نے سارا کنسینٹ کر لیا تھا بیکاز کنسینٹ از انفارمڈ کنسینٹ از ویری امپورٹنٹ ان ٹرمز آف ایتھیکل جرنلزم بی بی سی مگر اس نے میں جب ہم شام کو پہنچے اس نے کہا میں نہیں کرنی کرنا چاہ رہی سو وی وینٹ بیک اینڈ دین وی اسپوک ٹو ہر اگین اینڈ شی سیر اوکے ایم گولنگ ٹو ڈو اٹ ناؤ ان فیکٹ آئی وینٹ ٹو دا جیل وے ہر فادر واز اسٹل ان جیل بائی دا وے یہاں ان دس کیس شی فگیو دا فیملی So while covering such stories, I mean, you are, you were actually, uh, you know, creating a difference, making a difference. Trying to, yes. Know? And today... And imagine, so I didn't do the Oscar award-winning film, very sad. But because of Shameen Obed Chinoy's film, it's honor killing, killing Bill Paso. So, you know, these are good things. Like, you make a difference in some way so, or the other. Like, you, you contribute it. Do you miss that today because you're not covering stories anymore? I do miss, like yesterday I watched a documentary. Um, And I, I covered a lot of blasphemy issues uh, when I was a journalist as well. These are some of the sensitive issues that I covered. Um, and I was thinking, ke, I mean, I do miss having that kind of impact, but now I have a different kind of impact because now I can inspire journalists to do s- stories like this and do them well and do them so that they have impact. And that to me is also a different kind of impact, but it is. So at this point, I have a last question, which is about an award. You are yes. an award-winning journalist. Yes. And how did that happen, by the way? Yeah, I know. I put that because, you know, it makes, you, it makes it sound like you've been, you know, you've won awards and it's a great thing and it's recognized. And people like to see that thing on your CV and your LinkedIn account. But, I mean, honestly speaking, incidentally, it was for the story about the girl who was gang raped. So to me, it wasn't the award that was important. It was the fact that people were talking about the story. They were looking at the... Um, loopholes in the law and how they could make it better for women like her. Um, and sometimes you fail as well. You might think you're doing a story that will have impact and it doesn't, you know. Uh, like that story that was pulled down because I, there were threats and attacks. I thought it would make a difference, but because... So more than a word, that, that uh, Im- impact you build or you create is, is actually satisfying. Is that to me is the most... This is the thing that you really enjoy. The, the fact that you made a difference in somebody's yeah. life, yeah. either by giving them a voice or by helping other people like them. I am so glad that I covered your story. I wish I could talk to you more. <laughs> but I think if I see you in CEJ, you'll be charging me to sit and <laughs> yeah. give me I will be charging you. I will be charging you. <laughs> I'll try another trick then. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I'm really glad and, and I would uh, want everybody who's watching, if they are liking the stories, please do subscribe. And before leaving, I would want you to share last a few words for aspiring journalists. Okay, be prepared for difficulties and challenges. Uh, you have to really love and be passionate about journalism, uh, journalism to succeed. Uh, but whenever you fail, there's always the next chapter that opens, honestly, the next door that opens up. And that's been my case. Um, I've lost jobs. I've uh, failed badly at my first life. <laughs> I've, uh, but I've always picked myself up and I've kept on going. Keep going then. Mm-hmm. Persistence. Thank you, Umbra. Thank you so much. <laughs>